Well, our new fuel tank has arrived. <laughs> Before we could install the new tank, we had to make up these two new brackets to support the tank. Now those are uh, laminated three-quarter inch strips of marine plywood, and then we cut them on the angle, the same angle as the, the fuel tank to give this thing adequate support. We wanted to make sure that the plastic tank was going to be uh, isolated from the wood and from the metal straps, and what we found was a, uh, a large rubber hose we were able to rip down to the correct width that we needed to do this. So we just ripped it down on the, uh, the table saw and made the pieces that we needed. Here you can see the new fuel tank is in place. Uh, you can see the, the rubber that we made from the tubing um, wraps all the way around the tank to keep those metal straps from rubbing into the plastic over time. And that is our new girder. The girder was made the same way that we made the supports for the tank. It's laminated three-quarter inch marine plywood. Now when we laminated these things, what we did is we used a, a piece of chop strand in between each one. And we did that really to hold the, the resin in place to keep everything bonded together. Um, and it did add a lot of strength to it as well. Uh, you, you couldn't bend these things even if you tried. what we're doing here is this is going to be our ground so we're going to run this up to the the gauge and then this green wire will be our ground running over to the uh, fuel fill because that has to be grounded as well I'm going to use this heat gun just to uh, heat up these these connectors. Let me get this thing set back up here. Um, now I should make one note. There's no fuel in this tank. There's never been any fuel in this tank. Even though this is a heat gun and there's not an open flame, there's still going to be a spark. So you want to make sure you're not using anything that's going to create a spark around anything that's flammable. So with that said, fire this thing up.
And what you're seeing squeezing out here, I did put a little bit of uh, silicone just in the end. Especially for the spoon with the two wires on it. Um, so that's what you're seeing squeezing out there, just, just some silicone. Um, okay, that's it. I'm just going to put the, the fuel lines on here. We got our fuel fill. This will be our fuel supply, our vent, the fuel fill. Uh, we're going to get them on. Now that we know where our hole is going to be, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move these. We can shift these back to here. We're going to do that on both sides. Uh, just so we have access to them through our, our hatches that we put in. Um, that's it. And this will be our fuel fill. Now these are all double clamped. Um, and what we did on the fuel fill is we also used some sealant um, because we don't want this thing to ever leak. Now, the, both of these lines get run under the floor. They'll pop out of the floor. And then there's a fuel fill and vent built into the sides that go on this boat. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll tie those in later. Well, all that's left now is to go ahead and tighten up these clamps. Now, we're not going to make them too tight because what's going to happen is once we put fuel in this tank, this tank will expand some. Um, so after we have fuel in there, give it a little bit of time to expand. We'll come, come back and we'll actually tighten these clamps up to where they, they need to be. We will have access to both clamps through the floor. Now that that's all done, we're ready to go ahead and slide this piece of floor in. Thanks for watching.